All right, hey, what's up, guys? Back at it again. I'm gonna give y'all a little video here, a little something after Christmas. Uh, first of all, I hope everybody had a great Christmas. Hope you guys had fun. So with Christmas time rolling around, hope everybody had a good time. Hope everybody had some fun. Hope uh, maybe y'all got some new tackle, maybe some new reels. If you got some new reels, link in the bio. Check out how to tune them out with my old video, or with one of my older videos. And uh, anyway, guys, not to make this too long, I'm gonna jump into it. We're gonna look at some of the stuff I got for Christmas now. I gotta thank everyone around me that, that gave me these things. They either bought the things for me or gave me gift cards or something like that and I went and purchased it all myself. So, first of all, I gotta thank all of them for all their support and everything they do for me. Got some, got some really awesome stuff. So, first thing I'm gonna start out with is, I got a new reel. TAC 40 from H2O Express. Um, I was watching one of the elites and uh, one of the guys was using them, didn't know H2O made this caliber real honestly, hadn't checked into it much. And I've always liked their rods and uh, my brother-in-law's got some of their reels, some of the metals. And I've used them and I've liked them a lot. They're, they're, they feel real good and everything like that and if you break them you just take them back, it's no questions asked. So uh, I asked my wife, you know, if, uh, if she was looking or thinking about getting anything maybe look into something like this and lo and behold she did so she got me a tac 40 she got me a 7 3 to 1 gear ratio it comes with 10 bearings it weighs 5.8 ounces which is super light it's got a max drag of 20 pounds which is a lot most of my other reels probably 13 14 i got a quantum that's got like 18 but that's really about the most of it it says uh some of the features here a uh, one piece machined aluminum frame 10 stainless ball bearings, carbon fiber drag for increased strength, carbon side plates, carbon fiber handle, uh, dura aluminum parts for light weight, line capacity 120 yards of 12 pound monofilament. Uh, again, max drag 20 pounds and a gear ratio 7, 3 to 1. And then she also went ahead and went above and beyond and got me the rod to pair it with. So the TAC 40 rod. Now, I'll add a picture in here because I actually weighed this. Fully spooled, lure on the end, weighed out. It weighed 10.7 ounces. I'll go ahead and put that picture in there now. And, um, I mean, it's just, uh, it's great, man. I, I haven't used it on the water yet, but I've just been out and tuned it. Cast it around with it out on the water, uh, or not on the water, but out in the yard and stuff like that. Got it tuned in pretty quick. Um, I like it, man. The the it's super light. The rods, what I like, it's going to be super sensitive. Go ahead and bust it open for y'all. So the door on it, I'll show y'all how that works. So the door here, it's got a lever, and it rotates up, and then it pops out. When it pops out, it just swings freely. Now, if you look in there, there's some adjustments in there, and those are centrifugals. Uh, if you push them all the way out and they click, that means you're gonna have them engaged. If they're all the way down in, they're not engaged. I've got three engaged, played with it around a little bit, and three seems like the sweet number on it. So I've got those set to where I want them. It's working. Uh, another one of those clicky reels like I like. If y'all watch my reel tuning video, it does have what looks like to be a full carbon fiber handle. It runs true on both sides. I don't know how well they're going to be able to see that. Uh, EVA grips on the on the handle, EVA on the uh, pistol grips and everything on the rod, on the butt. Uh, it's got one of the Fiji grips um, trigger styles on it with the exposed blank in the back. I really like that. Uh, it's a good looking rod and reel. It's all blacked out. I like it a lot and uh, I'm excited to get out on the water and actually try it. But moving on from there, uh, that's uh, pretty much all I got fishing wise. Uh, I got some apparel. This is a Dwayne The Rock Jockson Under Armour. I think it's a workout shirt that my wife got me, but it's gonna be utilized as a fishing shirt. Got a hood on it, keep the sun off of me and all that. She got me some more fishing stuff and a big heavy jacket. It's gonna keep me warm. Now on top of that, a lot of people gave me gift cards which are not bad and it means you have to spend them on tackle which i'm a huge fan of anytime somebody gets me gift cards i'm like well i gotta do it gotta spend on tackle so what did i get so let's start out with these so 
running low on them and these are the new ones uh this isn't new this is just a thunder cricket uh, i've got a couple of them in three eighths this is a half ounce they use owner hooks uh they're pretty good baits they're not as good in my mind as the jackhammers i really like the jackhammers but that may just be because i don't have as much confidence in the uh, in these strike king thunder crickets as i do the other ones so and then going on from there i was gonna buy some more jackhammers and let me kind of tell y'all a lot of this may seem like it kind of goes together or i kind of bought not a lot of variety well the reason is i got a big trip coming up to Kissimmee, florida here in a little while and these are all baits that I bought pretty much specifically for that trip. So these are new, never used them. These are the Jackhammer Stealth Blades. Now, if you look at them, and we'll actually break one out here in a second. I got a 3 8 ounce here, uh, black and blue in half ounce. Now, this is the one I'm going to open just because somebody at the factory messed it up. And I think it's pretty funny. So we'll get him broke out there. If you look, he's got two blades on him. He's not supposed to have two blades. None of the other ones have two blades, just this one. So somebody at the factory messed up and accidentally put two blades on there. So I'm gonna have to cut one of them off, but I just thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, they're, uh, and actually I think it's backwards. They both may be backwards. I don't know. But uh, if you look at them, it's a uh, clear hardened plastic blade and it's got a metal insert in it and what that's going to do is the metal inserts obviously going to keep you good and attached to the bait so that if it ever breaks off or snaps or anything you've still got the bait i don't know if you can buy replacements for them i don't know how you would or anything like that but excited to try them see what they do but going on from there i loaded back up on some missile bait d-bombs these are going to be what I'm probably going to be flipping around a lot at Kissimmee. A lot. And this has actually become one of my favorite colors. And what it is, is candy grass. Now on the front, it's your typical nice green pumpkin. But when you flip it over, it goes to the back to a purple. And I like it because I can fish it in all the different waters. If I roll up to a spot and I'm fishing a lake and this part's really clear, I can flip it over and run a little bit more natural color. If I get to a spot that's a little bit dirtier, I can flip it over and run that purple and have that presentation that I like that gives me confidence. So, I got, let's see, two, 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 three or four bags of these. And then I got uh, some of the blacks and blues. I like them a lot too. They also got a good smell to them as I'm getting it everywhere right now. Black and blue, D-bomb. Blue on one side, black on the other. Uh, you can get some that are not blended as perfect like that. Some of them are a little more clear. I really like D-bombs for flipping baits. They, uh, they work great. <coughs> another pack of D-bombs. Another pack of D-bombs. Now, this is something we are going to be throwing a lot at Kissimmee. And those are Ultra Vibe Speed Worms. Particularly Junebug. I throw Junebug all the time anyway. It's just a great color. Uh... It's got that big fat tail on it with a cut. It's gonna thump a lot in the water. It's gonna have a, a lot of action. A lot of the major things you see people doing in Kissimmee or in Florida in general in that water is swimming a worm and we're gonna be doing a lot of it. So I've got a bunch of those. These are just the normal size. I've got some magnums hanging up on the wall that I bought last year. Last year a huge cold front rolled in at Kissimmee and it didn't play so good with those. So I've got a bunch of them left over. Here I've got some of the green pumpkins and uh, what are these? Watermelon reds. So, bunch of ultra speeds. Now these are something I saw that I've been pretty anxious to try. These are the Missile Baits Ned Bomb. And uh, I do like throwing a Ned rig. I really do. It's a pretty cool little presentation. And that is the Ned Bomb. Ned Bomb? Yeah, Ned Bomb. And this is a grape soda tail. Good looking little color there. That'll be something good for possibly at Kissimmee on one of them big flats. Um, and then I also got it in a natural color. And there's a lake here near the house and I think these are gonna be killer. This color is Baby Bass Tail.
What else did I get? Uh, I'm falling in love with these things. I just hate rigging them. Um, I've got a love-hate relationship with Elastec. Sometimes I really love Elastec, sometimes I hate it. It's hard to rig, especially on your bigger hooks and stuff like that, at least I find. But these razor sheds work great for being on the chatter baits and your spinner baits. Because what you don't give the boot tail action, to give that swim bait action. These are just kind of meant to be back there to imitate, which is what they're supposed to do. They got these uh, appendages in them. Actually, I'll show you. I got some back here that's already broke open. If you look at them, they're ribbed. They got a lot, a pretty good swing to them, but they're not being provided the action. The bait goes up on the chatterbait, and when the chatterbait thumps, it gives the action to this bait. It's not the other way around. With boot tails, the boot tail gives the bait the action. These are being given the action by the bait itself, which is nice. And the good thing about Elastec, I don't know if y'all know about Elastec, but I'll show you right here. As a matter of fact, we'll do it the right way. So, this is a Rage Swimmer, and I'll go ahead and waste one. So this is a Z Strike King Rage Swimmer. Stretch it, pretty good stretch, comes apart. See that? Breaks. Show you Elastec. This is an Elastec plastic. It's not gonna break. Elastec, is, that's what Elastec is. Even on the smallest parts, not breaking. You can use these things and get hundreds and hundreds of uses out of them. Catch hundreds of fish on them, they just don't tear up. But because of that, they kind of bunch up on you when you're putting them on the hook. So, like I said, I, I got a love-hate relationship with it. I love that I can put one on a chatterbait glue it down on there and not have to worry about it. it's going to be there all day i'm not going to have to run through plastics but i hate having to put them on there in the first place so i've got that was just some pearls i already had these are bad shad and razor shad now another thing about elastic that i need to tell y'all i've got some of these hard boxes and i usually take my baits out my soft plastics and put them in there just so when I pull a box out, it's got all my D-bombs in there in all different colors I ain't got to dig around for. You cannot do that with these elastics. You do, they'll harden up, they'll go crap. You've got to keep them in their own individual packets. So if you guys go pick up some elastic and you're thinking about doing that, don't. Keep elastic in its packages or you will ruin them and they'll be useless. Uh, what's something else I got? That kind of sums up all the baits. I just got a bunch. Ooh, it did not. Hold on. Now, this is something I'm kind of pretty excited about. I do like the Guggen Squad. Go ahead and say that now. I, I like a lot of the guys on there. I think it's awesome what they've done. They've, they've taken their passion and made it their own. And now they're getting to reap the rewards. And I think it's kind of cool. They've got their own little bait company out. And I am super excited about this lure. It is the Trench Hog 4.65 uh, or the Trench Hog Junior, as they call them. Got it in June Bug, Black and Blue, and Green Pumpkin. And I throw the regular Trench Hogs a lot, and they're big, big Trench Hogs. I like them. But there's some times that I like that longer tail presentation and the skinnier profile of it but I would like for it to be smaller. And that's what they did is they just took it and they downsized it. And I'm pretty excited about it. This is the Trench Hog Junior. This is Green Pumpkin. Uh, it'll work great on a shaky head or anything like that. My main purpose with it though is gonna be f finesse ish flipping. So when the fish aren't quite wanting a big jig or a big fat D-bomb or something like that. They want something a little more subtle. I can leave those feet together and not break them to where they're swimming like this. I can leave the feet together so they're kind of a big slow flap. Let them go all the way to the bottom. It's a smaller presentation. I can tear all those little appendages off on the sides and even take one leg off of it and have just one little leg that flaps. I think it's gonna be a great lure. I'm pretty excited about it. I know there's some guys out there that give you crap for, oh, you're, you're buying into the Guggen hype and blah, blah, blah. Man, I've used some Guggen baits. I've used their Bandito bugs. I like them. 
They're they're pretty good baits. They got a good smell to them. I got no complaints with them, man. Uh, haven't tried any of their hard baits. I'm a six cents guy when it comes to hard baits. But all right, moving on. This is the last thing that I bought myself, and I'm pretty excited about it. Again, H2O Express, H2O Express fanboy here. So I've been looking for one of these for a while. My local academy didn't have them in, and they finally did. And what it is is this is a terminal tackle box. It's got everything in there for. It's got plenty of room for all my hooks. Uh, it's got the the foam inserts in there where I could put all the real tiny small hooks in there. And then it's got the ones for my weights. Why do I like that? Confidence is a huge thing in fishing. And if you're throwing around a beat up, janky looking thing, it may hinder your confidence. Some people it does not. Uh, I'm kind of one of those guys where when I see a tungsten that's all black, and it's starting to get real beat up and it's kind of chipped on one side and it's showing a little silver maybe that silver's throwing them off to me i don't know i can always repowder coat them because i i powder coat my own jig so i can bust all the plastic off heat them up and repowder coat them that's fine but i like this because it keeps them all separated keeps them from being moved around and it keeps them from getting chipped very much i'm excited to use this box it is a waterproof box it runs about 14 dollars and boy, I'm, I'm excited for it. It'll hold a lot of terminal tackle, a lot. And it seals up nice. It's hard and I you can take it to take it around. And so far, none of my hooks have come out of where they're supposed to be like they do with other boxes sometimes, especially the little small mosquito hooks. Um, guys, that, that's really it. That's pretty much, I got a bunch of the same baits. Like I said, I, I'm, I've loaded up, I really do. I got I, I got a box. There there's there's a bunch of baits laying here. I'm not gonna say how much money in baits there is here, but, but it's a lot. Uh, my wife's gonna murder me. Let's just get to the point on that. But uh, anyway, guys, I, like I said, I hope you guys had a good Christmas. Uh, I hope you got some fishing tackle or or whatever you wanted, man. Whether it's video games or anything like that. We do. Uh, I do play a lot of video games. As a matter of fact. Y'all go check out my boys, Drunken Sniper 07, I believe is his name. And uh, it's Cornbro. Or Cornbro, I can't exactly remember. You're going to have to look it up. You can go to my Facebook page, Silver's Outdoors, and find them on there. Uh, they're doing live streams on Facebook and everything like that. And uh, I've been playing with them too. So it's been a lot of fun. I don't stream, but they do stream. So go check them out, man. Show some support. Give them a like. Give them a follow. Give me a like. Give me a follow if you want to. Links down there in the description. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. You know, leave me a comment. Tell me if I'm doing a good job. Tell me if I'm doing a crappy job, guys. I'm not going to get any better if I don't know. Go ahead and tell me that. There's a cat milling around right here. Probably moving y'all around. I'm probably going to murder him. And thank you, Mr. Cat. You see this? Th this this has been causing me a lot of trouble lately. And it's been getting me and the wife. Uh, or not me and the wife, but it's been getting me in trouble with the wife because I've been yelling at him she doesn't like it because of being mean to the cat anyway um uh, where was that yeah like subscribe leave me a comment uh sorry the video runs a little long i was only planning on making this about 10 minutes and now it looks like we're at 20 so hopefully i can cut out some of the crap in there and and get it a good short video but if you like it guys keep coming back i'll try and do some more videos i know i need to get out on the water and i'm working on it so See you guys later. Take it easy.